Hey guys, what's up? Today I did want to let you know about um, this advanced text animation class that I just got done with in Skillshare, over at Skillshare, and I will include a link in the description below. Um, shortly after this, I'm going to include a little snippet, one of the classes, or sorry, one of the videos from that class. So, um, Go ahead and preview it, and if you like it, you can go over to Skillshare and enroll in that. Um, I will include the link that has 99 cents for three months, and they have a package that you can use. It's like eight bucks a month or something, and you can uh, enroll in any premium class that you want. So if that's something that interests you, then uh, please you know visit over there and start this course. I will be making some free courses in the future, um, and I've got a couple other ones, easy motion graphics and some Photoshop stuff over there as well. So just wanted to throw this out there for you guys, and if you're interested, go ahead and head over to Skillshare. All right, guys, so welcome back here. In this video, we've got our roller coaster text and the background image. And now what we're going to do is we're going to add an effect on this roller coaster text just to make it stand out a bit. So we're going to go to the roller coaster layer, right click on it. We're going to go to layer styles, and then we're going to go to drop shadow right up here at the top. Now we can drop this down, and we're going to go to the color picker here, and we're going to pick a color off of this image just to make it blend. So we'll pick something that's in the back, and then we'll click on that color, and we'll drag it down just to make it a little bit darker. And this is just going to help it blend with the background instead of just doing a default gray or black. So we'll drop this back down. And then what we can do is we can move this around just to make sure that it's going to look good on the background. And now what we want to do is click on the text layer and we're going to grab our pen tool by using G or you can come up here and click and drag. And we're going to zoom in uh, by using your mouse wheel if you have one or you can use Z and then click a couple times to zoom in. And we're going to use spacebar to go around here. So we're going to take our pen tool, go back to G, and we're going to grab, uh, or we're going to start rather right here, and we're going to just drag along this roller coaster uh, track to make sure that we get the very edge of it in there. So we'll drag this around, we use our space to drag even more around, and we're going to go over top of those people. <laughs> And then off of the composition, we want to just drag our last point here. So now when we zoom out, we can go here to fit again. And we're going to see that we have that path. Okay, so we're going to go on to our roller coaster text, and we're going to drop this down, and we're going to make sure that our mask is everything that we want. So if you click on mask, it's only going to show you uh, the one that you've created. But what we want to change is up here on this text layer, we're going to go to uh, path options, and we're going to turn that mask on, and that's going to automatically put our text on this path here. So this is pretty cool. I mean, any path that you draw, you can move. If you grab your pen tool around, uh, you can move your path around. You could actually move. Let me undo that. We can move this around so you can move your text. <laughs> so pretty cool to be able to see uh, the changes live in real action, uh, in live action whenever you're making the changes. So um, that's it for this video, just to add that text onto this actual path. And the next one, we're going to be actually creating the animation. And I'm going to show you guys some uh, little tips just to make it a little bit more smooth and make it look more like a roller coaster.